In this video for positive max, we're going to have a look at a junior cert question, which looks at distance, speed, and time. So this is from the 2013 paper 1, and it's question 15. The graph below shows some details about a journey Alex made by bicycle. Okay, so just to note, we have the time on the x-axis, and we have the kilometers per hour, so we have the speed on the y-axis. Alex waited for his friend before setting off on his journey. So part A, how long did he wait before setting out? Okay, so if we're looking for how long did he wait, we're, we're talking about the time. So we're looking then at the x-axis. So, it starts at zero, but he didn't start his journey until five minutes later. So he waited for five minutes. Okay, part B. What was Alex's highest speed during the journey? Again, we're going to get this information directly from the graph. So we're looking at the highest y value. So we will see that the highest speed is 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so then part C. For what length of time was Alex traveling at the highest speed? So we can see he was traveling at the highest speed between 25 minutes and up to 35 minutes. So he was traveling at the highest speed for 10 minutes. Okay, and then on to part D. So how far did Alex travel at the highest speed? So here we are looking for distance. So what we're just going to note, I'm going to write it up here, is our distance, speed, and time triangle. So if we're looking for distance, then we're going to multiply our speed by our time. So before we do that, we just want to pay attention to one thing in particular. We have our speed in kilometers per hour. Okay, but we have our time in minutes. In order to find the distance, we need to have it either all in hours or all in minutes. But we can't multiply two different types of units. So, let's just outline first of all what we're going to be multiplying. We're looking for the distance, so we need the speed. So we said at the highest speed he was traveling 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, and we need our time. So the time is 10 minutes. So we need to change our time from minutes to hours in order to find the distance. So in order to change this into hours, we get our 10 minutes, we divide it by 60 to find our time in hours. So 10 minutes is equal to 0 0.6, 0 0.1667 hours. And that's rounded to four decimal places. So now that we have our units done correctly, we can find our distance. So our distance is going to be 20 multiplied by 0 0.1667. So our answer is going to be 3.333, and that's recurring, and our distance is kilometers. For more information, you can visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info.positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.